Okay. Cool. So just very quickly, right? So here's an overview and why we do this. Um, here's a building block centered around Corbett and how to collaborate with others. So um, diagrams, and uh, we are here. So talk about memory. So we, for the memory is correctable, uncorrectable, petroscrop, parity error. Um, for us, uh, we do not work, we, we, we do not need features that reduce memory capacity or system performance. Uh, CPU, the instructing error, MC error. Uh, the multi-socket support, um, this is something we are working on. So Delta Lake is a single socket server. So, so we don't have multi-socket server support yet. Um, we have um, AEI PCIe. And then on the ACPI side, we support uh, EINGA, HEST, GUEST. So um, in the K-Config, um, those are the core K-Config. We manage whether you want to do firmware first or OS first. We set up the interrupt uh, accordingly. Um, you can also set up error threshold, error propagation. Uh, and how you report it through BMC or OS through the UFS zipper uh, format. So those are all the core boot config options. Um, and we have quite some uh, debug config options as well. So this is our, on the Delta Lake, this is our validation status. So over 90% or over 92% passed. Those are the status of uh, March when we did the PVT exit. Um, we passed the, all the tests that shows up uh, in, the, in the blue here. Um, we passed on the PCIe, we passed everything noted here. The gaps are why the bird table that we are working on. Uh, FSP error handling, what if the FSP um, finds some error? For example, no DINs can be trained, right? That kind of things. Um, at this moment, uh, we have a gap there that we are working on. Um, I error and MC error, we can do that through ITP, but not through ENG. So that's a, that's a gap. Error injection through OS is not functional. And then we find an issue with PCI error during the boot up with um, LE error. Um, and then, and then multi-socket support. Um, the code uh, is in the SOC, uh, SRC, so that's in the core boot, um, upstream repo. Um, the, the basic code are there except of anything related to IP. It supports for Delta Lake motherboard and uh, um, Cooper Lake uh, scalable processor. Um, this is our call to action. Um, all those work um, wouldn't happen without the industry collaboration and the community support. Um, we, to us, to be honest, firmware is not our um, it's, not, it's not our differentiator. We just wanted it to work with minimum um, effort from us. Um, so uh, we, want, we want to contribute to us and we, uh, our part, and we want to work with the industry and the community to work together to make it easier for all of us. Um, um, so the Delta Lake is on market. So you can contact WinWin to buy it. You can buy one, you can buy 100 racks. Um, you can contact nine elements uh, for the Delta Lake uh, OSF feature development. Um, uh, when we and nine elements has a partnership on that. Um, you can go to GitHub to download the source code and build it with one command, right? You, you, you run the command, 20 minutes later, you get a working image. Um, and uh, um, and uh, there's core boot, Linux boot, um, um, upstream, Community is there. They have regular meetings. So uh, please join and contribute and benefit from it. Thank you so much. Any questions? <laughs>